as we start another week, I guess technically we're already into the second week of 2021, and it's the second Sunday. And you know, on second Sunday, they don't always have the same services that they have on first Sunday. You know, first Sunday and third Sunday, that's always the, the big Sundays in black churches. This ain't your quintessential church. You know, like I did my grits and grooves with Lulu today. We didn't do really grits and grooves. We kind of just took a trip down Pancake Lake. Because she likes to soak up her damn pancakes. Suck all the syrup off of them and then she comes back and gets them later. I just don't understand how babies eat, but it is what it is. It's the Black Watch, and this is a this is a little dose. I'm gonna do some little doses today, and this first dose. I know some people ain't gonna like it because some people are actual Donald Trump supporters. I'm not going to say that they're Republicans. I'm going to say they're Donald Trump supporters. And then there's going to be the others who are Donald Trump antagonists or people who don't support Donald Trump. But they have the same ideologies. Deep down inside, they believe that there was a breach of democracy. Some people think that the election, you know, had an issue. And some people seem to think that the Capitol building was breached. But you got to understand, none of this happened by accident. The election happened the way it happened because Donald Trump refused to listen to anybody for four years. He loved hearing himself talk. And he loved seeing himself tight. And that got him to where he was. Because truthfully, Joe Biden didn't do anything special to win the election. Donald Trump just did a whole bunch of special shit to lose it. And as far as this whole thing at the Capitol, and we still laughing. As far as black America goes, we still laughing. Because the shit didn't have nothing to do with us. We get blamed for so many problems in this country. But ain't nobody wanting to talk about that white on white crime that happened at the Capitol building. And y'all need to stop saying that it was a breach of democracy, that the Capitol building had a breach of security. There was no breach. There was no breach. I'm here to tell you. If you haven't been told already, let me tell you, there was no breach. They were invited. If you saw Donald Trump's speech that preceded the melee, the fracas, he invited them to the Capitol. As the president of the United States, he was the host of the party. He invited them. And then he no-showed on that ass. He said, let's go to the Capitol. I'm going to go with you. They went left, he went right, and the rest is history. And now everybody talking about there was a breach of security. It's a breach of our democracy. No, 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 no. You're not gonna do that. You're not going to say that anything was breached when the president of the United States invited those animals those mongrels, those Viking suit wearing motherfuckers to the Capitol building. He invited them. It was no breach. It was a party. And he invited them to the party. And then he no showed on that ass. If you've seen the new video, well, it ain't really new. It's probably just something that I just saw. Where they were calling for Pence's head. They was trying to get at Pence. 
This is why I don't understand this shit. Pence is his right hand man. And I know he ain't been behind in 50 grand, but he was still the vice president. I'm not sure why them wild dogs was looking for Pence. But it also makes me think that if they had breached that door, because they did try to breach that door, once they broke that glass and they was pulling that door off the hinges, and that 14 year military veteran propped herself up in that hole before they put a hot one in her, I think Pence was behind that door. I can't say for sure. So don't be trying to fact check me. This may come up in my algorithms. Only 12 motherfuckers gonna see it, but for somehow they always figure out a way to block my shit. Like I'm some type of fucking security risk. But I believe somebody real high up, real powerful, was behind that door. And they said he got a gun. He got a gun. And she kept climbing up into that window. And when she got perched up in there just like a little pigeon, he took her down because he was Secret Service and he was sworn to protect whoever he was sworn to protect. And he did his job. He protected whoever was on the other side of that glass behind him. And then once everybody started tending to her and her neck, they got out of Dodge. You never heard who was in that office. But right before that, they was calling for Pence's head. They was looking for Pence. Now how you get invited to the party by Pence's boss and then you gonna go looking for Pence? What type of disloyal motherfuckers are y'all? That's why I said, these motherfuckers don't make any sense. They're not Republicans. They're Trump supporters. And a Trump supporter isn't necessarily a Republican. They're crazy, but they're not necessarily Republican. I'd like everybody to get that understood that when somebody invites you somewhere and you take them up on the invite, there's no breach. They're invited. You can see the video how they walked in in between the stanchions all nicely. And they didn't really start raising hell till they started chasing that brother up the steps. And I just found out the dude that was in the front, they say he married to a black woman. Not that that really matters. Because the fact that she let her man go do something like that, we already know where her mind's at. I feel sorry for that beige baby. Now, he's gonna live in infamy that his daddy was the one that was chasing the black security guard up the steps at the Capitol party. Not the Capitol breach, not the democracy breach, at the Capitol party. He was invited by the president and he showed up and showed out. Now he's got charges pending. I don't know what those charges are. Most of these charges I heard it was motherfucking uh, curfew violations. Curfew violations. Really? They taunting, intimidating, assaulting, and brutalizing people. Some people got murdered. And they chalked that up to curfew violations? Okay. Okay. That's like giving a motherfucker a jaywalking ticket for running out in the street and running back. Say, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Really? You walked out there illegally, but just because you walked back, we, 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 we get to erase what you did. Okay. Or, Your Honor, I really didn't jaywalk. I turned around and I moonwalked all the way across the street. So you gotta give me a hundred for artistic flair. 
I plead no contest to moonwalking. Go outside yourselves with some of this stuff. But I'm going to keep you inside with these little doses. Because if you take a few of these doses at once, you won't OD. But you might get a little smarter. It's the Black Watch. A little dose. One love.